All right, we're back in Blighty. You could tell because the skies are a rather depressing shade of grey, but that was a pretty lucrative trip. Five t-shirts, a cap, and a mug. But you know me, my thirst for winners' garments is unquenchable, so today we're going to somewhere in the Midlands to try and win another t-shirt. Who's gonna That is a stylish mobility scooter. Look at that. I want one of those. We're looking for a spot called Connor's Calf. Now your destination is on the left. This is what's on today's agenda. It's a giant sandwich. Apparently not yet been beaten, but hopefully I can do it. You get a free t-shirt, I'm told. I've been deep in conversation with the owner's wife, apparently, who was kind enough to wish me good luck. I'll put the four leaf clover emoji afterwards too. That takes effort. Doesn't seem to know if it's free though. I think judging by the post I saw it is free. I'm pretty sure, but we'll find out when we get in there. Alright, this is a spot. Hi, um, I, uh, I spoke to someone on the phone. You did? I don't know who it was. Uh, but I'm here for the big sandwich thingy. Yeah. Do you have a toilet? I'm, I'm dying for a pee. We do. No. Just go out there and round the corner and it says toilet on the door. <laughs> it's actually a, an old fashioned outhouse. This is actually a, a pretty slick outhouse. Luxury outhouse. Might I say, as far as outhouses go, it's in very good condition. <laughs> Fan girling. Oh, do you watch the videos? Yeah. Just a fist bump. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Don't tell me who I am because I'll make it twice as big. That's, that's got to be a good sign. That used to be my squad number when I played football. Lucky number seven. So, I mean, hopefully I don't need it, but we'll see. Animal is right, yeah, that's probably the best way to describe me. Well, you see, it's hard to tell by, you know, looking at pictures just how hard it's going to be. And it look, I mean, it looks substantial, yeah. I'll say that, but hopefully I won't have any problems with it. You got malt loaf here. I get like, I went on this podcast once and he gave me so much grief because I said my meal deal would include, my dream meal deal would include malt loaf, <laughs> which he said was embarrassing, but I, I quite like malt loaf. That was Jack, mate. He said that malt loaves are boring. I, I've got a soft spot for malt loaf. Sorene especially. Oh, here we go. It's your breakfast. That, that is a beauty, that isn't it? Look at it. I get toast as well and chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> the whole lot. <laughs> oh, I, th I didn't know it came with chips and, uh, and, and t I feel like it's, uh, toast in addition to the French bread is a bit excessive, but you know, I, I'll still eat it. Right, my place today called Connor's. Connor's Cafe? Yep. In, uh, is it technically Leicester? Wigston. Wigston, but it's near Leicester, right? Yeah. I'm taking on this ginormous breakfast sandwich challenge. It's pretty much everything you find on a fry up, but in a large French baguette, right? Yes. You get chips, toast with it. How much does it cost? 12 pounds. 12 quid? It's got to be more than that, surely. Uh, that's what it is. That's 12 yeah. quid? Yeah. I come down here and eat every day for breakfast. <laughs> 50 people tried, and if you finish, so you get a t shirt. Yeah, I'll get you a t-shirt and you get a tub of Ben and Jerry's as well. And a tub of Ben and Jerry's? Oh no, it's got a special name, right? What's it called? The Lo Loza? Loza. The Loza Sandwich Challenge. Who's good? You can get on with it, no. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll get on with it. <laughs> Let's begin with the eggs. I don't normally eat eggs like this, I promise. What's up, bread army? I mean, bread army. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. Buckle up. We're going on an adventure, the like of which my entrails may never recover from, but you're gonna love it. Probably. I can't say the same for this uh, innocent bystander here. <laughs> Look at that expression. But yeah, it's gonna get messy, but uh, I'll, I'll do my best not to give the OAPs here a reason to write to uh, Ofcom. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Bet you're glad you stuck around now, right? <laughs> Better than watching Loose Women, surely. Surely. Is that still on TV? I'm kind of forced to eat the mushrooms first here because they're on top of everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have fished out some of the stuff beneath, but uh, I just attacked this with reckless abandon today, for better or worse. I'm pointing off your breakfast. I'm sorry about that. I apologize.
a lot of people say watching me is a bit like a diet aid, you know, like it puts them off eating food so they eat less. It's making you hungry. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> Yeah, that lady is a wrong un, as they say in Yorkshire. Actually, various parts of England come to think of it. But I suppose I should take it as a compliment. Most people find the way I eat rather nauseating. But I'm trying my best here to be neat and tidy, I promise. This music reminds me of Fat Boy Slim. Is that just me? Quite apt, come to think of it, given my physical proportions. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, so... I'm just going to get those out of the way. They'll put a stop to me if I eat them all up front. There's a lot of beans on the table here, I'm sorry. I've made a mess. I tried not to, but to some degree it's inevitable. I'm determined to actually try and eat this like a sandwich. I don't know if it's going to be doable, but probably not. I'm just going to go at it straight from the end. <laughs> very funny, very funny. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I'm alright, thank you. Um, I think we've got plenty of food here to keep us occupied for the next, what, 52 minutes? I'm gonna actually try and eat this like a sandwich now, so if you're squeamish, consider this your... Actually, I'm a little bit late now, but that was your cue to, uh, to jump behind the sofa, put your hands over your face, something like that. I'm gonna wipe my hands down, though. I'm not a, a total brute. I mean, I, I kind of ate it like a sandwich. I kind of scrunched it up like that. Almost like a sandwich. Yeah, I thought that would be a... Uh, I try, you know, I try. There's no real way to do this. I'm sorry. Of sorts, of sorts, I guess. That lady cracked me up. Especially at the beginning, when she told me to get on with it. I think she just had the, the courage to say what everyone else is uh, is thinking, I think. <laughs> that was the original plan. <laughs> I get the feeling I might end up sleeping in my car, but we'll see. You better to know that it's about as messy as it should get. Oh, I'm glad that door's open. I've got, I've got a real sweat on now. Don't do that. I'll overheat. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That service. Yeah, I did appreciate that fresh waft of air. Waft? Waft? Right through those words. Who knows? But yeah, I'm getting a bit of a sweat on now. Could be a, a, a nervous sweat, maybe. That might be it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that to me. I thought it was just a sandwich. I was like, oh, this will be, be alright. It's not alright. It's far from alright. I'm finding this really difficult now. Surprisingly difficult. Something to do with the fact that I ate the mushroom was first, I reckon. But that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> oh. oh my days. This is a lot of food. Woo. Oh, you know it's bad when I'm making the Ric Flair sound. <laughs> oh, back to square one. Big bowl full of chips. I haven't nearly done. <sighs> yeah, far from it, in fact. As you can know that tell by that high-pitched yelp I just let out. And especially now I've dumped out that big bowl of chips. That is excessive. This might be one free meal which eludes me. Not to mention the t-shirt. I know, almost sacrilegious to suggest such a thing. Come on, lad. That second wind must be incoming. Any second now, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> I think I might be going straight to the morgue after this. I don't think I'm going to... I'm getting a straight hammer in here. I don't know, man. Something's going wrong here. I, was, I don't think I was prepared. I thought it was just a sandwich. No excuses though. I just can't... I don't think I can do it. I just can't handle those mushrooms, man. Oh. Oh, good lord, don't, don't tell me it's a forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, part of the reason it's so cheap is that you actually have to give a tenner to charity if you lose, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> I can't do it. You 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's it. He's got me. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I'm, the, I'm waving the white flag. I'm gonna have to give in. Yeah. For God's sake, congratulations. It's not often I'm beaten. I'm sorry, thanks for the support though. Thanks for the support. No, don't clap. I don't deserve it, I don't deserve it. Thanks for that, I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, thanks. <laughs>